Hey there the guys, Saito AJ here, or Saito AJ here, back with a brand new video, and today I'm playing Adopt a Corgi Anime Edition. Let's start. My adult life beginning in a rusty little apartment in an unfamiliar town. The, the quaint neighborhood was pleasant, but it really didn't feel like home. Everything felt strangely empty. My landlord <coughs> assured me that feeling... That feeling would pass with time. Once I unpacked my things and grew used to my new job in town, things would get better. Part of me wasn't so sure. Before I moved my family, I had my family to keep me company. We even had the family dog. I talked with my landlord about my troubles. <clears throat> the topic of having a pet in the apartment added a twinkle to his eyes. He mentioned that he allowed one pet per tenant, as well as as various other rules regarding animals in the building. He talked about pets in previous tenants for a long while. Eventually, he left, and I thought over what he said, and the idea of having a pet interested me, and I didn't have a week before I started work. And I did have a week before I started work. Wait, when I drove into town, I saw a Corgi breeder advertising bis advertising business. I always wanted one, so maybe it was fate. It couldn't hurt to go look. With one final glance toward the stack of unpacked boxes in the corner of the room, I made my way. I made. I made my way to, towards the breeder's sign. Day one. The breeder's home looked like this scheduled grove from the entrance. The scent of fresh flowers filled the air as I approached. The gate was unlocked, and rather pretty, pretty woman stood on the other side, if she was expecting my visit. I could barely focus on what she said, but the light, the light barking I heard from somewhere in the present premise. Oh, hello there, what's your name? My name is... Um... It seems like it was a guy, so I'm just gonna go. Um, welcome, Jackson. Come on in. We have six little pups up for adoption. You probably saw our signs along the road, right? We're holding a sort of open house event at the town's blueberry festival. Where hopefully these six pups will find good homes. It's been difficult to find anybody willing to adopt them, but I have high hopes this time. Oh, but what am I doing yanking at you all day? The pups are in the back. I'll take you to them. The kind breeder led me through her home. Very, <laughs> whoops. Various canine figures and pictures decorated the walkway. The smell of dogs and bark. Of baked treats filled the rooms, and assaulted my sense. Assaulted my senses. The softer scents of flowers were only a memory now. We walked down the hallway, passing the kitchen and several other closed doors. We stopped to an open room filled with several cute dogs. Here they are. Go ahead and get to know them. I'll be in the kitchen preparing, preparing for the festival bake sale. Of course, our friendliest pup would approach you there. <laughs> approach you first. This is Deary. This, the sporty one behind her is soon. The two behave. You two behave for our guests, okay? The breeder left me alone in the room, with, but the energetic pup in front of me demanded my attention. Ooh, are you here to adopt? Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. No one will adopt you if you scream at them, idiot. Aw, but they are, they're here to adopt, right, right? Even if they are, acting like that will only scare them away. Hmm, sheesh, you don't know anything. Gee, don't you know anything? So, human, I heard you, they call you Jackson earlier. That's your name, right? I'm doing this after my main Animal Jam outfit. My main Animal Jam character, that's his name, Jackson. Uh, yeah. What a weird name. Well, whatever. As the human said before, I'm assuming, and that doofus is deary. Aw, so mean soon. I'm just excited. Everyone else was adopted, but but we weren't. 
So, we don't need humans, right, Jackson? I mean, it's not like I care if you adopt me or not. So, is that what you're here for or what? Yeah, to get to know you, but I can only adopt one of you. I don't really care. Why would you ask that? There's two of you? I thought there were six Gordons here. Yeah, I can get to know you all, but I can only adopt one of you. Just one of us? Oh, that's no fair. You can never get adopted. I think I'd be sad to leave the others. Who cares? This human is probably going to leave without adopting one of us anyway. Even if Jackson came to adopt or not, he's nice. It's nice to see a new face. I bet the others would love to meet you. Do you want to meet them? There are two over there by the TV. Hemi is the one on her throne, and I don't know where Yan is. Oh. Well, don't we start with Hemi. She's all alone by her throne at the moment. <laughs> so you can talk to her while I go look for Yan. Come with me, I'll introduce you. <clears throat> Sitting atop the makeshift throne of couch cushions, <clears throat> a lone pup looked over the small living room as a queen in her kingdom. There was a distinct air of fringing, fringed royalty about this corgi, but Deary didn't seem to mind it at all. Hemi, this is Jackson. They're here to adopt. I see. Yep, yep. I'm showing them around, and I'm letting them meet the others, speaking of which, have you seen Yan? I'm just doing this for my old jam main character, his name is Jackson. And, or Jasmine. Jackson, Jackson slash Jasmine. She's, they're non-binary. Well, I'm, like, the player, me, Sizos, I'm female. I believe she was still sulking after her previous owner returned her. Oh, I forgot. Well, that just means to get I get to cheer her up. I'll be right back. What does BRB even mean? And just like that, it was only me and the corgi named Timmy. Her act hadn't changed since Deary left. It was a rather stale tension between us. I opened my mouth to start to talk, but I was interrupted immediately. So, you're here to adopt, yes? Once again, I opened my mouth to speak, but of course you are. <laughs> the prim dog popped its muzzle in a way it smelled something foul, or maybe it w watched too many old-timey shows. Um, did, did, did I do something to offend you? Of course not. You're a citizen of my kingdom, after all. Besides, there was an awkward moment and pause while Hemi gathered her thoughts. I'm expecting to be adopted soon by my Prince Charming. She gave a look I should know who she was talking about. She could only that just by a less subtitle she wanted me to adopt her. I still haven't met the other options. It would be rude to choose before I give them all a chance. Maybe I should ask her something or buy time until Deary returns. I want to know more about you. Do you know a lot about the others? Of course, I do. But why would you want to know about that? Me sighed harshly and shifted one front paw gently to rest the top of the other. Well, I suppose you will. You would be curious about everyone since it's your first day here and all. But you better remember that I tell you I won't repeat it. Oh, and you didn't hear this from me. Got it? Remember what I said before about Yan? She was recently brought back out of all of us. She was she was only the she was the only one to get adopted, but they gave her right back a few days later. The caretaker of this home makes her wear a little cloth paw cover, little puff cloth, little cloth paw covers, so she won't scratch up the floor or furniture. I swear, she's so destructive. It's quite sad, really. 
Okay, I'm actually really starting to like Kimmy. She'll never find a good home with that attitude. Now if they had chosen me, will I? Hmm. Well, that's all in the past. I'm sure I'll look. I'm sure she'll learn from her mistakes eventually. Oh, but that's not all I know. Soon cries a lot when she thinks about no one, thinks when no one is watching. She acts though she is so sensitive. It's hilarious. Kimmy is obsessed with those fortune animators on television. She thinks that she's human half of the time. I want to scream, who cares, every time he talks. <clears throat> Koo is always near Hein. Hin? Hin? But I think she just pities for him and for not being social. That or she's just obsessed with the television. Ugh, everyone is so weird around here. And <clears throat> don't get me started on Deary. She's a tryhard. I mean, seriously, no one is happy all the time. It's annoying. <clears throat> Her ranting continued, but most of what she said was re repeated, repeated from earlier. So I take it that you don't get along with anyone? Hmm, I wonder what's taking Deary so long. Uh, let's just talk about Deary. Ugh. If you don't want to talk to me, then why are you here? Just go look at her, go look for her, her yourself. Hi! Hi! So how did it go? <laughs> Himmy is interesting. She sure is! Well, I found me yet. Sorry, Himmy. But I'm going to borrow our human guest for a while. Go right ahead. We moved away from the empowered presence and further away from the couch. Two other dogs were standing nearby, one with Soon, and the, uh, and the, and the other wore pink. Deary bounced happily for a few times before talking again. I need to go check up on the two by the TV, so I'm okay to leave you with Yan and Soon for a while. Have fun while I'm gone, okay? Thanks, Soon. Yan and Yan, here's our human. I'll be our bee. So, Yo, so you met the diva on her pillow phone, eh? Have you met the nerds by the TV? Not yet. No worries. <clears throat> no worries. No worries there. Gary will probably drag you to meet them soon enough. <clears throat> I guess you're here to talk to Yan, so go ahead. She's right here. Come on, Yan, talk already. Don't leave me hanging out to dry. Okay, um, I'm Yan. They already know that. Oh, I don't feel comfortable talking about myself. <clears throat> A lot of help? A lot of help? This is Jackson. I guess it'll just be you and me or whatever. Maybe until we can get the conversation going. It will help Yan talk to you. That sounds fine to me, but it's okay. I'm not sure. That sounds fine. I don't know the weather. You're human things. Just spit something out. No, no need to get all angry soon. As funny as this is, I don't think forcing a topic is the best way to handle this. <clears throat> well, I don't see you sp spouting off any bright ideas <clears> hmm <throat> well it didn't seem like this would get anywhere fast yan was quiet and soon it was awkward well anyway i guess introductions are over that was a huge waste of time i don't think it was a waste of time i like jackson <clears throat> yeah yeah you like all humans yan that's not true humans can be mean Besides, Jackson seems different. I can tell. Uh-huh. Whatever floats in your squeaky toy. That's the end of this episode of Anime Corgi Adoption. I'm not sure what it's called. I just It's called Adopt a Corgi Anime Edition Demo. So this is only the demo. 
but bye guys